Don't you wish you had a thought of it? Guarantee. <laughs> Hey everybody, how are you today? Listen, I have got a video for you, a hack actually. We had uploaded another video for this week, but I have put it on hold because I was in bed one night and I couldn't sleep. Thankfully, I came up with a hack to stop the doona from falling off the bed and it cost nothing. 99% of caravanners have this product in their caravan and you are going to kick yourself when you see how simple this is. I can't believe it. We have lived in our caravan for 18 months and I didn't think of this before. Oh, there's people who have lived in the caravan for years and probably haven't thought of it. This is so simple. Everyone is going to want to see this video. Right, stay tuned and I will show you what it is the two issues that we have with the doona and that is your sheet when your sheet is tucked over the bed over the bed if your feet are near the end of the bed you find that your feet are like this because as soon as you try and put your toes up the sheet is so tight over your, your toes that you can't move it and if if the sheet's not tucked in it moves right so you think, well, let's tuck the doona in the sheet in and maybe it might not move. It's uncomfortable. This, you get the freedom of your feet moving around. It feels lightweight. You don't have the doona falling off the edge. I still can't, I'm, I'm still blown away that we haven't thought of this before. And it is frustrating. The doona, <clears throat> it sticks over the bed. We've got two doonas on at the moment. We're in Melbourne and it's it's cold um and at night time we have two blankets on the bed so we find this doona it pulls on you and you're constantly trying to pull it up when i had my back was out i couldn't even pull the doona up over night time i had to get gilda pulled up because of the weight of having so much doona we've tried the noodle it didn't work for us unless we were doing it wrong that didn't work I'll show you. This is how simple it is. You're going to kick yourself that you haven't thought of this before. Over night time, you pick up your doona. Right? And don't you hate it when this sheet is tucked in and your toes won't... You can't stick your toes up. They've got to be like this. Forget this sheet. Right. This is what you do. Your fitted sheet. Pick it up, stick your doona in your fitted sheet, all the way along. Oh, it feels really, put this in tight. You tuck your doona like this. Right? Your doona will not fall off the end of the bed. Your toes can sit up. All right, Gil's taller than me. And you get, you're enclosed in there. You've got the freedom. I'll work this out at three nights ago. How simple is that? Everyone's got a fitted sheet. It doesn't matter if you've got blankets on your beds, or doona, it keeps it in there. By the morning, we just tuck our, our sheet back in. All right, and pull our doona down. That is it. If you've got kids' beds, the side, we don't have kids' beds, so I can't test this. I would say take the bottom that's exposed, that, that's falling off. The bottom and the top corner that's falling off try that if it doesn't work because it's a longer distance get one of these like fold back clips but a big one and i reckon you could clip it down the bottom at, at the side that's nearest to your your wall clip the doona and the sheet 
there and do it halfway up and clip it there, depending on how the kid sleeps. And I reckon that would be enough to hold it, a big one, in place. Um, because it might not work with the side. If you like this hat, hack, please subscribe. And maybe there might be another night that I don't sleep and come up with another hat. Hope it's all for you. We'll see you next time. Bye.